Treasury stocks. Treasury stocks are shares of stock which have been issued and fully paid for but subsequently reacquired by the issuing corporation by either by purchase, redemption, donation, or true lawful means. Ibig sabihin lang ng treasury stocks is ito yung mga shares of stock na na-issued na and fully paid na rin yung shares. So, ibig sabihin nasa kamay na yung ng shareholder yung shares but subsequently reacquired by the issuing corporation. So, in-issue ni corporation yung shares and fully paid na siya sub and subsequently reacquired. So, binili ni corporation ulit yung shares from doon sa shareholder either by purchase, redemption, donation, or true lawful means. Yung, yung mga shares na nire-acquired ni issuing corporation, yun yung tinatawag na treasury stocks. Purchase of treasury stock. When the cost method is used, the treasury stock is recorded at cost regardless of whether the share is acquired below or above par value or stated value. So, ibig sabihin lang yun, treasury stock is nire-record at cost regardless kung ang kung ang consideration is is below or above ng par value or stated value laging at cost if the treasury stock is acquired for cash the cost is equal to the cash payment okay kapag ang treasury stock is binili through for cash ang treasury stock is equal sa cash payment if the treasury stock is acquired for a non cash consideration the cost is usually measured by the amount of a non-cash assets surrendered or given in exchange. So kapag cash, ang value ng treasury stock is yung cost which is equal sa cash payment. Kapag naman non-cash consideration yung pagbili sa treasury stock, ang cost ng treasury stock is usually yung fair value ng non-cash assets surrendered or given in exchange. Treasury stock is not an asset because the corporation may not own shares of itself. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya asset ni corporation dahil hindi pwedeng bilhin ni corporation yung sarili niyang shares. Treasury stock is reported as a deduction from the total shareholders' equity. So, hindi siya asset, siya ay shareholders' equity account pero recorded siya as deduction. So, bakit siya deduction? Ang shareholder's equity, ibig sabihin lang nito, ito yung, yung ang composition nito is yung share capital and retained earnings. Yung share capital, ito yung mga shares na nasa kamay na ni shareholder. And ang treasury stock is share siya, pero wala siya sa kamay ng shareholder. Nasa kamay siya ng corporation or ng issuing corporation. Kaya, hindi siya nasa kamay ng shareholder, therefore siya ay deduction sa shareholder's equity. Illustration, Sea Wind is a world-class resort in Boracay Island. The operations have been successful. To consolidate the control over the enterprise and thus avoid a corporate takeover by outsiders, the board of directors decided to minimize outstanding shares by Purchasing 1,500 shares with a par value of 1,000 pesos per share for 2,000 pesos per share. Prepare the journal entries. So, kailangan natin gawin is yung acquisition of the treasury shares will be. So, journal entry for the acquisition of treasury shares. Number two, reissuance of treasury stock. Assume that all treasury shares were subsequently reissued at cost. Reissuance of treasury stock for 2,500 per share and reissuance of treasury stock for 1,500 per share. So, ang gagawin natin is basically journal entries for the acquisition and journal entries for reissuance ng treasury shares. Dahil ang treasury shares is pwede rin siyang ma-reissue subsequently. So, i -re lang ni corporation to sa mga shareholders yung treasury stock na binili niya sa mga shareholder. Okay, balikan natin yung definition ng treasury stocks bago tayo mag-proceed sa problem. Treasury stocks are shares of stock which have been issued and fully paid for but subsequently reacquired by the issuing corporation either by purchase, redemption, donation, or true lawful means. 
So, illustrate natin yung problem. Lagyan natin siya ng drawing. Okay. Si Seawind, siya yung issuing corporation. Okay, lagyan natin dito. Si Wind. Siya yung issuing corporation. Para ma-picture lang natin kung ano yung nangyari doon sa problem. Si Wind, siya yung issuing corporation. Then ito, yung shareholders. Ayan. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Si Wind is a world-class resort in Boracay Island. The operations have been successful to consolidate the control it's over and avoid a corporate takeover by outsiders. The board of directors decided to minimize outstanding shares for purchasing 1,500 shares. So si Sea Wind, una, nag-issue siya ng shares sa mga shareholder. Kaya lang naman naging shareholder tong mga to is dahil bumili sila ng shares kay Sea Wind. So si Sea Wind nag-issue ng shares. Yan, ganyan. Yung nangyari. Tapos ang nangyari, the board of direct directors decided to minimize outstanding shares by purchasing 1,500 shares. So, ibig sabihin, para ma maiwasan yung yung corporate takeover by outsiders, binili ni, board of, binili ni corporation yung 1,500 shares with a par value of 1,400. Yung, previ yung previously na in na shares is binili ulit ni si wind Pero 1,500 lang. So, ito yung point na shares reacquired by issuing or by si wind Ayan, si si wind yung issuing corporation. And ito yung tinatawag na treasury stock. Yan, ganyan. Yung initial na shares, binili ulit ni si Wind. Yan, shares reacquired. Then, ang sabi, nagkaroon, meron tayong kailangan gawin na, reissue, na journal entry for the reissuance of treasury stock. So, ibig sabihin, yung treasury stock na binili ni si Wind from shareholder is, nireissue niya lang din ulit sa mga shareholders. So, ito naman yung point na reissuance of treasury shares. Ayan. Ganyan yung illustration niya. To record yung transaction issuance of shares ni si Win to shareholders. So, ang mangyayari dito, debit cash or any consideration received credit, share capital, and yung excess share premium. Ganyan yung entry for issuance of shares. Paano naman yung entry for the shares reacquired by si Wind? Ayan, ito yung gagawin natin mamaya. And paano yung entry to reissuance of treasury shares? Paano yung journal entry? Ito rin yung gagawin natin mamaya dito sa problem. Number one, acquisition of treasury, treasury shares or journal entry. Ang treasury shares is nila-record siya lagi at cost. Debit treasury shares or stock at what amount? 2,000 times the number of shares which is 1,500 shares. 2,000 times 1,500 shares equals 3 million. So binili yung shares above par value. So regardless ng above man yan or below, treasury shares is recorded at cost. Credit cash 3 million. Number 2. Reissuance of treasury shares. Assume that all treasury shares were subsequently reissued at cost. So ibig sabihin itong 1500 shares ni reissued ulit ni corporation sa mga shareholders debit cash at what amount? syempre at cost which is 3 million 
credit, treasury, shares, at what amount? 3 million pesos. Number 3. The issuance of treasury stock. Assume that all treasury shares were subsequently reissued at 2,500 per share. So, ang value ng treasury share is 2,000 per share. And reissue siya above cost which is 2,500. Paano ang journal entry nun? So, debit cash for the consideration received which is 2,500 which is ito given times the number of treasury shares which is which is 5 which is 1500 shares 2500 times 1500 equals 3,750,000 pesos credit treasury shares at what amount ang treasury shares is laging kinakredit yan at Cost, which is ito, 3 million. Cost ha, 3 million. Credit, share premium na 750,000 pesos. Yung number 2 and number 3 is independent sila sa isa't isa. So, kanina sa number 2, ang assumption, reissuance of treasury shares at cost. Number 3 na independent situation, reissuance of treasury stock at 2,500 per share. Okay, number 4. Reissuance of treasury stock, assume that all treasury shares were subsequently reissued at 1,500 per share. Okay, kanina, sa number 2, reissuance is at cost. Kanina, sa number 3, above cost dahil 2,500 reissuance of treasury stock compared sa cost which is 2,000 pesos, kaya above cost. Ngayon naman, 1,500 per share yung reissuance, 2,000 pesos yung cost ng treasury shares. Therefore, ito ay below cost ng treasury shares. So, yung number 4 is accounting for issuance of treasury shares below cost. Paano kapag below cost? Kapag cost, walang problema. So, simple debit, cash, credit, credit, treasury shares. Kapag above cost, debit, cash, credit, treasury shares, then yung difference sa share premium. Ngayon, kapag number form naman, which is below cost, bago tayo mag-proceed, pagkumparahin muna natin yung difference between the reissued and the cost. So, sa number 4, reissuance, is 1,500 shares which is yung treasury stock times the 1,500 per share that is 2,250,000 pesos compare natin siya sa cost ng treasury shares which is 1,500 shares times 2,000 pesos, 3 million. Therefore, merong difference na 750,000 pesos. So, parang masabi natin siya na loss dahil mas maliit yung nareceive na pera over dun sa cost ng treasury shares. Pero hindi siya yung loss na loss on sale. Paano natin to i-record yung 750,000 pesos? So, bago tayo mag-proceed, Debit, ang magiging entry natin dyan is debit cash at what amount? 2,250,000 pesos credit treasury shares 3 million Paano yung 750,000 na difference? Ang rule sa pagre-record ng loss on reissuance of treasury shares is una Kapag given yung value ng share premium ng treasury shares, dito siya ide-debit lahat. At kapag ubus na ito, yung natira is ira-record sa retained earnings. So sa problem na to, tingnan muna natin kung available yung share premium treasury shares kung siya ba ay given. 
So sa problem, wala tayong nakitang share premium, treasury shares na given. Since na hindi siya available, meaning yung 750,000 is i-record siya sa retained earnings. 750,000 pesos. Since na hindi available yung share premium, treasury share sa problem.